what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today we got just a little project going on this if you got a jeep ever had a jeep then you know you're constantly working on it but this jeep's kind of lived a rough life but it's been a good one but what we got going on is right here our wheel seal's leaking it's been i took this part that evening it rained course because it like can't never stop raining here but getting into our brakes and everything and making our wheel real nasty which this jeep's real nasty at the moment and i need to clean it but that's besides the point but that's what we're doing today is we're going to pull this out and we're going to change this wheel seal and make it all like good again so let's get going Now the first step obviously is take a tire off and then you just take your two bolts off for your um, brake caliper, your rotor and everything. And then you get to this point and then when you're to here, this little nut right here, it's, there's uh, four of them. You got two on top and two on the bottom. Got to take those out. And then we can take the axle out. Now to get this out, this is a 2007 model um, Jeep Wrangler. There is there ain't there is no half moon clip on some, you know, that for the axle to hold the axle in there. There is none of that on this one. Once you take this that retainer bolts out that we just took, then that axle just comes out. And for that, I got one of these cheap back before Harbor Freight and the internet, them tool parking lot sales would come to your town and everything you know i had this for a long time but this is a cheap little slide hammer and it, it works quite well for this job so that is how i'm gonna take the axle out of this so let's see what happens here see there it moved it already jumped out wasn't in there tight at all just got a wiggle this retainer past that sensor so you don't hose it up. Actually, I think it's just easier just, just to take it out. Little eight millimeter bolt. So I was wrong about that. So eight little eight millimeter bolt and you take this slide this sensor out and then we can get that out because that retainer is going to hit. I could probably fish it by there but it's gonna be tight so i think it's just as easy to slide that out of the way real quick so let's see here yeah i got an eight millimeter wrench take that little bolt out right there it holds that little wheel speed abs sensor Now a good uh, practice on this is to drain the rear end. And when you pull these out, um, put new fluid in it, but I just changed this not too long ago. The other side was leaking a year or so ago and I just changed it instead of changing both of them. Now I'm doing it again, just changing one and not doing the other. And we'll probably revisit this in another year or so. But that's just the way it is with this old Jeep. This ain't no century's wanting to be a little 
stiff. A little bit. There we go. Now oh, it's moving. And you see, I'll get you in here. You can see. Maybe, hopefully. I'll just hold it like this. This little sensor. I'm just taking it out. Just enough to where it ain't going to cause no issues getting this little retainer right here past it. Another thing, when you pull this axle out, I've got that little sensor out of the way. Oil can come out, but I got this thing jacked up so much and I didn't drain it. And, and that's to be a good thing to do is just go ahead and drain it. Pull these out. Put new oil back in, but I got it up so high. The slide hammer just slid it right out and then just slide her out. And the bearing actually looks good. That seals are leaking. The shame about this is you can't just change the seal. You can't just put a new wheel seal in it and go on about your business because this little retainer gets you in here closer. See what the heck I'm talking about. But this little retainer is what holds your your bearing on. Well, your bearing kind of goes on there kind of rough, but this holds it on there. So when you get this out, we got to cut this retainer. We got to cut it off. Then we got to cut the bearing off, and then the seal comes off. So when you put all this back together, you got to make sure you put this seal retainer plate on, put your seal on, drive your bearing on, and then I take heat. And I'll heat this retainer up and I'll show you, I'm, I'm going to install it so I'll show you what I'm talking about. But you heat this up to swell it out bigger than this diameter, just a little bit. And it goes on nice and easy and then you wait for it to cool and then it's tight like this. And there's no, I mean sometimes you might be able to get lucky and drive that off but there's no point in reusing. Whenever you buy the, the rear bearing, it comes with a kit. It comes with this retainer, the bearing, the race put in here and a new seal and this race don't look too bad but we'll change all that so that's pretty much it on this assembly it's a pretty easy disassembly now it's the fun part yeah axle looks good all right now before we put all this back together we need to clean this up real good and Hey, we're going to be using brake clean to actually clean brakes. I don't know that I've ever used it for its actual intentional purpose. That's pretty cool, right? So let's clean all this up. here and looking at it I don't know why it was leaking there's a little nick right there where that seal rides and that might be enough to we might have to doctor that up a little bit but anyways for giggles and grins I'm gonna hit this retainer with a punch and a hammer and just see if it moves on its own Uh, no, sure doesn't. Sure don't. All right, now what most people would do and what you can do in the, out beside the road, out on the trail, anywhere else, you can have your little whiz wheel and you can split that right there, then knock it off there. That's a pretty easy way to do it, but 
to make it really easy for me. Ah, here's what I'm gonna do. Get that retainer out. I'm gonna cut it with a torch. Now, if you're pretty handy and you have a torch and stuff, I mean, this is this is good and easy. If you're not, you can you can hose some things up if you can't cut real good. But if you don't have the luxury of having a torch, you can take your whiz wheel, split that, drive that bearing retainer off, split your bearing cage, take all that stuff out, and then split your actual bearing, the seat there, and drive it out, and then the seal and all that comes right out. And you can do that, and I could do that. And that's dirty. But to make my life easy, here's how I'm gonna do it. That, that, that quick. I didn't get it split all the way, but it ought to move. Give her a little love tap. I had a better punch. There it goes. So there's that piece. And then your bearing. I might have to do the same thing with it and split it. I might be able to break the rest of that off here. Slide that stupid seal back out of my way. I'm about to cut it. Let me give it a little snip. Very easy, baby. Easy, baby. The seal's probably gonna catch on fire. I think the place up. Let's split. Yeah. Let's drive that crap out of the way so we can see what we're doing. I don't want to smell that burning rubber, that steel, that seal, I mean. This cage. There we go. And there's that. The cage of the bearing. And there's where you gotta be careful with a torch. If y'all can see that. There's a shoulder. I'll do something stupid like touch my fingers on that, but there's a shoulder that that bearing goes all the way up against. So when you're cutting through here, you gotta be real careful not to cut into that shoulder. And even with your whiz wheel, you're gonna split into it just a little bit when you split this part. But it'll be all right, as long as you don't really gouge the ever living snot out of it, you'll be all right. And that's what we're not gonna do right here. And this K, this stuff's some funky metal, so it might pop and back. carry on. Easy, baby. Oh, that was a lot of heat. And that stupid seal. I'm just going nice and easy.
give it that, see if it'll dry well. My hammer good. This got tough. Tough to get in there. I have to get a chisel. Almost, baby. There we go. Now the seal. And then the retainer. So let's see if we screwed anything up here. Yeah, we nicked it just a little bit. I don't know if you can see. I'll get you a close up. We nicked it just a little bit right there, but we can buff all that up and that'll be fine. So even like I say, with your whiz wheel, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna nick it. That's how it's gotta come off. And then when you put this back together, like what we're gonna do here in a minute, you gotta make sure you put your retainer on first, then your seal, then your bearing, and then the bearing retainer. So if you got a torch, it makes that job super easy, super simple. You just gotta be careful and not gouge into this taper that the bearing rolls in and make sure you clean all this up real good before you put the new parts on. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Well, it's now the next day. My parts didn't come in the mail yesterday like they were supposed to, so all is well, I got them now. And of course it rained overnight and it's lightly raining right now i ain't got much daylight so i'm gonna try to get this done get this axle back to get on this jeep so you see whenever you order you get the kit you get the seal you get a new seal and i went with Timken bearings i've always had good luck but these bearings are heavy duty so we put on these service trucks and stuff. And then here you got your bearing, your race. And this guy that we had to cut off, the little retainer is in there too. So it all comes in one kit. So let's get all this back together. I gotta wipe some of this rust down, put some oil on this axle where it got rained on. What was that? Oh, Rock Auto. So it's cool, Rock Auto always sends these little magnets. I got a refrigerator plumb full of them. I always save these for whatever reason. It's cool stuff. All right, start with the seal. It's gonna go like that. It all looks good. Yep, that's a nice tight fit. And the bang. All right, got a new bang. Come pre packed with grease. That's pretty awesome. And it goes on here. Now we gotta find something. Drive that on there with. What, what do we have? Well, I found something that's going to work amazing. This is a homemade DTMD 11 axle tool I made on this piece of pipe. I'll, I'll come back. You see, this, this thing's, I don't know, good five foot long. But we're going to slide that pipe. I mean, look at that. This is going to take very little effort. I'll leave y'all right here on this bearing. 
But I'm gonna pick his pipe up and slam it. And this is just, tool was just meant to do this. No doubt about it. Just like that. I mean, that was easy. Easy. Hopefully I got that. Big piece of pipe. That's what I was looking for. Should have found that earlier. It did have some dirt and crud in it though. I don't like going in that brand new bag. It's white. It's just on this outside grease here. A little bit of dirt. Not a whole lot. All right, so there's the bearing. I'm not even going to heat that uh, retainer because I think this piece of pipe's going to do wonders for installing that. So if you're ever out in the bush, have a situation, big old long piece of pipe. Diameter to fit that, man, you got it, you got it going on then. But normally, we'll see how this goes. Well, I guess once I start, there's no stopping. But normally, I'd set this down on a plate of steel, about like that, and then take my torch and just go around and get it hot. And then you can put this thing in here and drop it, and it'll drop right into place and just let it cool. Let it cool down and then it'll be nice and snug. But since we got this big slide hammer pipe deal, this is what we're going to do. We're going to lube this up a little bit though. Might help the situation. Spray some of this WD on it. Okay, I'll get y'all down a little bit. There you go. All right, let's see if our pipe will knock it home. I'm gonna blow some brake clean down this pipe and maybe clean some of this junk out of it. All right, that's better. Oh, dripping everywhere. All right, I moved you off the bumper this time so you don't shake to death. We'll see if we can't drive this keeper on here cold like this. Almost home, baby. Feels pretty solid. Yep, as far as she goes. 
Alright, here we go with the rain stuff again. Now you want to make sure this is nice and clean and dry. You don't want to put it, you don't want to have oil here. That, that you run the risk of that seal not sealing. I cleaned this axle, got all that WD and everything, so that seal's nice and dry right here. And just slide her back in. I'll tell you something else I do, and it might make people lose their minds over. It's starting to rain again, that's lovely. If I can get any seal coming out of this. Oh yeah, there we go. I put just a little bit around the outside of the seal, just as an insurance policy. A lot of people would disagree with me for doing that, but it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside about doing it. And I've had very little, I mean, I haven't had any leak after doing this, so. It's a little coat. Don't go crazy. Hang on, y'all hear that? It's starting to rain, like rain, rain. Every time I go to do something. I'll be happy when my shop's built. There you go, guys. That was the, that we're in there. I can't pull it out. Feels good. And hopefully this time that sucker don't leak. But if you can hear the rain on the roof, it's starting to rain out here. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'll put the tires on here a little bit if it slacks off. But yeah, that's pretty much the rear wheel bearing and seal on a 2007 Jeep Wrangler. So I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna try to put out a video every week. You get a get a series of little of something going on here. I got I got I'm bringing I'm going to go get some projects tomorrow actually. So I got I got a lot of footage gonna be coming. So if you like to learn how to do something or maybe don't do it the way I do it, and you might learn either how to do it or not how to do it. Either one. Be sure to subscribe and follow along on this uh, journey of working on junk all the time. So. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day, guys. I'll see you.